Hello once again and thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be going over a few things you can do with Instagram in Web Starts. So Web Starts has a few Instagram integrations and they allow you to access your Instagram photos and use those to display on your website. And it's really easy to do, so let me jump in and show you how to do it. The first one that I want to show you is just getting access to your Instagram photos from your file manager. To do this, click on the insert image icon and then click on the Instagram tab. And the first time that you do this, you'll be asked to connect your Instagram account. I've already done that, so the photos in my Instagram account are already being displayed. So you will have to enter in your Instagram username and password and authorize the connection between Web Starts and Instagram, but only the first time that you access this feature. If you want to log out of your Instagram account at any time, you can do that by clicking this log out of Instagram button down here on the left. Once you uh, have access to these photos, adding them to your website is very easy. All you need to do is find the photo that you would like to add, double click on it, or just click on it once, and then click Insert File. That photo can then be dragged and dropped wherever you would like it to appear on the site. You can even make it full width if you want and kind of use it as a background. You can also style it by choosing the styling effects show you a better example of that. So like if I want to add a little drop shadow to it, I can do that. And uh, really just anything you can do with images, you can do using your Instagram photos. I'm going to delete this one from my page. And then I'm going to show you the next Instagram integration, which is the Instagram feed integration. And you can find that by clicking on add and then going down to social and then choosing Instagram feed. And just like with the file manager, if it's the first time that you're accessing Instagram through Web Starts, you'll have to authorize the connection by logging in with your Instagram credentials. And here you can see these are the photos that are currently in my Instagram feed. And I have a few different options in terms of how I can display them. This one is slideshow, but I can change that to gallery. And you'll see what the gallery looks like in just a moment. And then I can also choose collage. And in collage, it kind of has a neat feature, which is basically if you have something written about your Instagram post, you can click this little button. It'll flip over the photo. And it'll show whatever you wrote about the Instagram post. Now, I never write anything about my Instagram post, so it's left blank. Here you can choose the number of photos that are displayed in your particular layout. So if I chose gallery and then I chose that I just wanted nine photos, I could display just nine photos, 10 photos, whatever. And here I can choose the size of those little squares that are being displayed. Uh, if I'd like to add this to my website, all I do is click insert and then that's added to my website. And just like anything web starts, I can drag and drop it wherever I'd like it to appear, and I can even make this a full width or full screen uh, setup. Sometimes you might have to resize it a little bit uh, to display all the images. So going back into my Instagram feed, show you a couple more features. I can also enter a public Instagram username. So for this example, I'm just going to type in um, I don't even know if this is a username ID. I'm just taking a guess, but I type in Yankees and I get some photos from probably the Yankees Instagram account, I imagine. And then you have those same uh, options here, plus a couple of other options where you can uh, change the uh, transitions between the slides if you have the slideshow. So you, you can change it to fade or focus or whatever. And then you can choose whether to autoplay this slideshow once it's added to the site. Now over here in the last tab, you enter hashtags. And this would just be anything that, any keyword that somebody might post with a hashtag to Instagram. So I'm using baseball and then you can see there, I get some baseball 
stuff, some baseball feed. And like always, just add that to the site, just like I've shown you a couple of times today. So that's it for the Instagram feeds. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to visit webstarts.com to create your very own free website and hook up your Instagram account with it to do some pretty cool stuff with the photos. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to click the subscribe button right here. And if you'd like to see even more videos on search engine optimization, internet marketing, and web design, click the watch more button here.